Hey everybody, Jason here. Welcome to my Knot channel. In this video, we're gonna have a look at the Hunter's Bend, okay? So let's head on over to the work table and take a look. The Hunter's Bend is also known as the Rigger's Bend, and it's a popular and useful way to tie two ropes together. The Hunter's Bend gets its name from Dr. Edward Hunter, who's claimed to have been the inventor of the knot in the late 1970s, although there's some debate if this is actually the origin of this knot. The Hunter's Bend is a very secure knot that even functions well when using more slippery types of rope, and when finished, the knot is relatively easy to untie. As you're likely aware, any knot that's used to tie or join two ropes together is called a bend, according to knot tying terminology and there are many different ways to tie two ropes together. If you'd like to discover others, then I highly recommend my video, 24 Great Bend Knots. I'll provide a link in the description and at the end of this video. Now let's have a look at how to tie the Hunter's Bend. Begin with the rope in your left hand folded over. When you fold a rope like this, it's called a bite. So with a bite in the rope in your left hand, pass the working end of the other rope around the bite. You want the tail ends of both ropes to be about the same length, although it won't affect how the knot ties, it will dress the knot neatly when you're finished. From there, tie an overhand knot with the rope in your right hand, and then tuck the working end under the standing part of the left rope. At this stage, tie another overhand knot in the rope in your left hand as shown, and then tuck the working end through the other overhand knot, keeping the working end on the left side of the other working end. To cinch up the knot, Hold both working ends and both standing ends and pull to tighten. This will snug up your knot. You can see the structure of the hunter's bend and how the purple rope sits on top of the blue rope. Also notice how the colors alternate when you look at the working ends. You can cinch the knot tighter by pulling on the standing parts. So there you have it, the hunter's bend. Now, as promised, here's a link to my video, 24 Great Bend Knots. I hope you check it out. Now, if you like this video, please give it the thumbs up, leave a comment, and if you haven't already and you'd like to see other videos, don't forget to subscribe. Okay? Thanks for watching.